Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. So on this day, I was actually with my ex for a few days already and we tried to work things out, but it just didn't end up working out, which really sucked. But I ended up going to just have Chinese food with my friend and he stayed in LA for a day or two and then he left, but we went to go get Chinese food and it was actually super yummy. And this is a place in Chinatown. I will have the name of the restaurant down below. After we were done eating, my friend brought me to a wine and paint to make me feel better because I was actually crying a lot. So this place is called Pino's Palette and it was actually really cute. They have certain, um, certain art kind of pictures on certain days. So on this day, it was actually the beachy scenery and I will show you guys what mine ended up looking like. So this was the wine that we chose and it was actually $16 for a glass and that was one of the best ones that he had. So I, get, I think he had other like cheaper ones but we also weren't allowed to bring our own which really sucked because i really wanted to bring one that i had that was really good it's actually from wally's and i don't remember the name of it and that's my neighbor these are the colors that they give us we just had to mix a few to make certain colors that we needed this is what mine ended up looking like i think it's super cute and then i also helped my friend with her trees and doing a little bit of the blending but i really like her sky it's really dark and it's just i don't know my favorite because mine is pretty light but yeah on this day, I went with one of my girlfriends. She was finally back in town, which I was so happy about because I missed her so, so much. And we came to this little cafe called Boulon. I, I think that's the name of it, but it was really cute on the outside. And then on the inside, of course, it did not disappoint. It's really cute. They had this lightning um, light and I saw a bunch of people taking photos in front of it with their drinks. And so I ended up getting the mean girl and then my friend got the money maker and it looked super aesthetic and I love how they presented the drinks as well. If you drink it there, they do serve it in a martini glass but if you do drink it outside or you want to take it to go they do put it in a regular plastic cup and these were some of the desserts that they had honestly everything was so delicious they had hazelnut croissants chocolate croissants um almond croissants they had coffee cake they had this olive in the bottom left hand in the bottom right hand corner they had this olive oil cake and i did end up getting one of those as well we also got an avocado toast when we sat down and then the owner actually came to pour our drinks and this is what hers looked like. It's green and it's super, super cute. I really liked it. I wouldn't mind coming back here because I just love the desserts so much. And I think the desserts is actually what keeps me coming back to a coffee shop. But I loved everything here and I love that we were actually able to sit down and also have food. And they did have a twisted rainbow bagel, which was really cute, but we didn't end up getting a bagel. We just got avocado toast. And this was the interior of the restaurant. I really like the texture on the wall. I think it's really cute. I actually wanted to do wallpaper in my apartment, but I haven't decided on that yet. And this was our avocado toast. Super cute. Just a really great spot for good photos, good food, good drinks. Everything was really great. And I was happy to catch up with my girlfriend because I hadn't seen her in a while. And yeah, that was the olive oil cake that I was talking about. And I do not like tomatoes. So of course I took those off and I think the flowers were edible, but I didn't eat them. and I got a jalapeno burger with some spicy margaritas and we really enjoyed our food and that was the end of the night. Anyone else's cat not smell like them? Does that make sense? Like, everyone has a scent, right? But I feel like Luna doesn't smell like me. Which is so weird because she lives with me. <laughs> oh shit. To start off the omakase, this is a shooter, like an oyster shooter or a squid shooter. I don't remember what it's called, honestly, but then we have some caviar, some escargot, some squid, and some... I forget what that is. <laughs> I don't know what they are, but it's all super different. My date actually came all the way from Redondo Beach, which is so far, and I was so grateful that he did. This was amazing. That tasted so, so good. He really liked that one. 
This is a sweet shrimp with oyster. I love the oyster cold soba noodles with some shishito peppers and I think that was fried calamari. Oh, calamari, just calamari. <laughs> and then tuna on some toast and it was super good. They butter it up and then these are just like all of the dishes that we had. It was so yummy and I really love Otoro. This, this was abalone, I believe. This was actually my first time trying it and it was only okay. I like abalone porridge so I think it's really good. But we had a lot of different meals. It was a really good company. He's super sweet. Um, has a really great job. This was Wagyu, I believe, and he was just really kind all around. He's uh, definitely someone that I am interested in, so we are talking a little bit, but we're just taking it slow because I don't want to rush into anything like I did in the past, so I'm learning from my mistakes before. Hi guys, so I just got back from the gym. My hands are still wet. Um, <clears throat> but I only burned 210 calories. I was only there for about 21 or 22 minutes, and then I wore my sweatband as well. So I recently gained like I think two two or three pounds and it's not water weight because it's what I have when I wake up like after I pee sorry it's pretty early it's like nine o'clock right now so I decided to only do 30 minutes of that but right now I'm just gonna have some fruit and then I have to go to the post office so just washing my hands yeah I have like some planning things to do when I get back and I also want to go to Whole Foods just to grab some eggs and some uh, veggies like I want to get broccoli or something but I'm really glad I woke up this morning because I feel like lately I've just kind of been like pretty groggy and I don't know why, like there's no really, I don't know, I, there's no reason for me to wake up that way and be in a bad mood. So I'm going to try to make it a positive day every day and especially with working out, I feel like it puts you in a much better mood. So I really have to get back into it because I always say that I'm going to and then I just don't. This peach is not that ripe yet. I like it really soft, but... It's fine. These peaches were super hard when I first got them. I really love this, this skin peeler because I got it from Nespresso. They gave it as like a gift with purchase. And I literally cannot get it again, I don't think. But it's like one of the best ones that I've had. And they have some at the grocery store that are pretty similar. But none of them are as sharp as this one. So it's definitely my favorite. And here's it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then um, I will be back to, I don't know, I'll just show you guys what I'm doing. Um, okay, let's go over here. I was gonna have some coffee, like my face is, my face is always like super, that's like how red my face is right now. It's always super red after I get out of the, after I get out of the gym. But I want to go back later tonight, so today, or right now probably isn't the, I just wanted to do some cardio in the morning just to get me in like a good mood. And then those are all my clothes that I have to put away, but whatever. And then for the gym, I take my Amanagiri water bottle just because this water bottle is like super sentimental to me because it was like one of like the best trips I feel like I've ever been on. And it was just so relaxing, so romantic, and definitely like one of my favorites that I've ever been on. But yeah, I want to go to Cabo for my birthday, so that's like the plan for now. But I also wanted to go to Tulum because I've actually never been, which would also be super cool, but... I have to decide like by late August, <laughs> so hopefully I decide by then because my birthday is September 16th. Hey guys, I'm back like I never left, um, but I went to Whole Foods and I went to go ship out some packages and um, also it was sprinkling but I'm wearing sunglasses so like how stupid would I have looked if I wore sunglasses and then had an umbrella just because it was sprinkling like so dumb, but anyway. Um, I just got a few things from the grocery store. I got some pita chips. I got some eggs. Chino Valley Ranchers. And then I wanted to try this hummus. This is the gourmet red pepper hummus. I just looked for the one that looked like most people bought it, you know? <laughs> I don't know which one's really good. And then I just got some organic broccoli because I'm going to cook salmon later for dinner. I'm just going to put my eggs away. And then I'm actually gonna make some avocado toast. I'm so hungry. It's like 11.23. I usually do not eat before 12 because I've done like intermittent fasting, but I am super, super hungry. Honestly, I don't know if these avocados are good. <laughs> Let me check. Oh, I'm scared. It's okay. I have a few of them. 
I have a few of them, but hopefully one of them is good. So this is the bread that I like using. It's Dave. I'm just gonna do one piece of toast. Two eggs, because I actually really love eggs. And then, okay, let's see what's up with this um, avocado. I'm nervous. <laughs> it is kind of bad. See that? Oh no. I can't do that. Why do I always waste food? It's because I went to my mom's house and then I came back and my avocados were ripe and then I didn't know what to do to mess with myself. So, oh, this one looks promising. Yes, we got a good one. Oh no. It's okay. I don't want to make it super pretty. kind of want to go on a date tonight. <laughs> Dude, this is not... I'm so happy I got at least one good one. That was a close one. <gasps> Dude, I, I, this apartment is so small. I need a bigger one. <gasps> Maybe I just need less stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, how is this supposed to be like aesthetically pleasing? Like, I don't know. What the freak? Oh, I think it's like this. But, okay, you know what? Whatever, I give up. As long as I know in my heart that... Oh my god, please calm down. What the freak? So, I'm going to add a little bit of the... To be honest, this is... This needs to be, like, mashed on here. Queen of avocado toast. Just a little bit. This thing is pretty salty, actually. And then I love me my crushed red pepper. Let's put a lot in there. And then let's put our fried egg right on top. And So, this is lemon juice that I extracted yesterday. Then, I don't know, I just drink water more when it's in here, so don't ask me why. I don't know why. I think drinking from a straw is just easier, but then I'm gonna get wrinkles. I think it's called like cigarette wrinkles. <gasps> Makes avocado toast once and thinks she's an influencer. Me. <laughs> okay. It does not, in my mind, it does not look bad. I think Penthouse is even too. I'm gonna watch just a little bit of TV, just a little bit. closet i honestly have not really added anything new um so i'm really curious as to how all of this fit at the house because like i have no idea like no idea so these are all of my shirts i think i had most of my stuff like i guess most of it was like folded um so i just have only a few empty hangers i need to get more because i'm not having much space right now these i want to trim them so i have that there i have my makeup here i don't use all of it but this is my everyday makeup right now and then this is just extra like extra mascaras and eyeliners um eyebrow pencils and stuff like that and then i have some concealers here i actually got rid of a lot of them i used to have uh six of these filled up with makeup and i finally got rid of all of them it took a while for me to let go but i really recommend to do it little by little because when you get rid of everything at once you're going to regret it but if you do it little by little and you see the things that you are not using or the things that are just no longer serving you purpose um then i think it's easier to let them go so i did let go of a bunch of pigments that i had i just don't use them whoops and then here i just have some alex and ani bracelets that i got as gifts so i do keep those and yeah just basic stuff and then i do have like my louis vuitton niece bb filled with 
makeup. So that is filled with makeup and then I have some brushes here. I tried to get rid of some but all of the ones that are dirty are the ones that I use so I just kind of want to see which ones I'm going to continue using and then the ones that I don't end up using I will get rid of them within like a month or two. So I think it's good to just do it like that. And then here I have some of my slacks and then just all of my shirts there. Um, I do have some in the other side so I'll show you guys that right now but here I have some towels and then I have my bras and sports bras in here and then here I have my under undergarments and also socks in here so that's that and then there I just have a bunch of my reusable bags so I have that and then this bag here I have some Poshmark some things that I want to post on Poshmark so I'm going to do that soon and also like a tripod like a stabilizer that I think it was like 300 bucks or something like that or like almost five so I do want to resell that and then in the Nike bag I just have some extra sheets in there and then I do have two pillows up there just in case because I have an air mattress that I got when I first moved in uh, that was like what Luna and I slept on the second day because on the first day I literally just slept on the floor um, after I swiffered it which wasn't even like that clean um, but yeah the struggles and now I have a bed as you guys can see but yeah I do have pillows there just in case anyone wants to sleep over like when Jazzy comes I don't know I feel like my bed's kind of small for like two people but um when Jazzy comes I might end up having her on the air mattress or I mean she can sleep in my bed too but if she wants something bigger um I'll just move the couch back and then she can sleep on the air mattress and then up there I do have a pile of clothes and that's just for Jazzy to try on and see if she wants it most of it are sweats because she likes wearing sweats and then in here I have all of my jeans and I did have this at the house so I just kind of reused it. I was going to get rid of it and just get like a dresser but I figured this was just better for me because I needed the long length for my dresses and my coats so I just have some of my winter if you will winter coats. I only have one real coat but I want to get another one like a black one so I will probably invest in that this year if it gets continues to get colder in LA and then I just have some dresses here I have my fishy jackets here I don't know I, I think my ex thought that I only had one of them but one of them is his but he said that he didn't end up wanting it because it didn't fit him um, and they're super big and then I have my fishing hoodie here but obviously we don't do that anymore and then here I have some sweaters or like sweater dresses regular black dresses um, just for the summertime and then this is my Burberry scarf here um, I actually really love it. It's super warm. I would recommend it. It is a little bit short and pretty, like the length is short and it's not super thick or anything, but I think it's good to just throw on if you're at dinner and you're wearing, you're wearing a dress that's like maybe off the shoulder or just straps and you want something warm. I would recommend that. I feel like that's just like really cool and it's, I don't know, it's just very simple. It's something small. You don't really need a big, like huge jacket because that really keeps you warm. So in here I have pajamas i have my mm, everyday like jeans here and then here i have some jeans that i figured i would probably wear in the winter time because these are black jeans these leather jeans i wouldn't wear them or leather pants i wouldn't wear them now here i have some white pants and if i don't fit in them like within three months then i'm gonna toss them out i have some shorts um this is just a pair of jeans that i actually want to bleach because they're a little bit too blue for me and i did end up keeping like the dark blue jeans because i don't wear dark blue in the summertime but i do wear them in the winter with like high riding boots and so i do want to get new ones from like stuart weitzman or something and so that's why i do have the dark blue jeans because i do like those better in the winter time and then in here i have more pajamas um oh i think that was just loungewear actually and some shirts um and then here i have all of my workout pants these are literally all of them um it's not a lot and then i have my shorts here and then these are just my fishy shirts that i sleep in I saw someone say like oh do you miss your ass your ex or something like that because I do wear these no I don't it's just what I'm used to and I don't know I feel like these shirts are kind of like wubbies for me because I was so used to them like I wore them like every single night every single day before I would cook like just everyday things um but no I don't I don't miss him or anything I'm just I just love big t-shirts and I wouldn't go out and wear buy like t-shirts from Zara or something like I'll just wear these um I don't know it's just easy so I have some boxes there and then here I have some uh, sanitizers for flight attendants when I do take my um, gratis flight from one of my friends and then a ring light there some boots there and then that was my aunt's Christmas gift they were like snow boots but she didn't end up going to the snow and then here I just have some shoes that I do or don't wear I've had these forever the YSL espadrilles I still see them in stores 
um, for like, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't care. But yeah, and then up here, I actually have to clean that one day, but I wanted to do sections at a time. So this was just like the main part of the closet that I wanted to clean up and then that I'll do it like another day. So yeah, that's what's going on. And I think it looks really, really pleasing to me because it's been messy for the longest time and I couldn't figure out like what I wanted to do with it. Um, I do have some brights, like this is like a yellow here. I have like a baby blue here. Um, but not too much color. I do continue like wanting to build my wardrobe like from Aritzia or from Bloomingdale's. Um, just getting clothes from there, but it's very expensive and it's like investment pieces. So it's literally like one at a time. But yeah, and then I have my hats there. And then here, I do have some stuff on a hanger, but these are things that I'm going to put on Poshmark. And then I have two Superga shoes there because I do have backups. And that's it. That's my closet. So... Yeah. And then um, everything else is the same. I'm gonna have some hummus and pita chips because I'm gonna watch Penthouse, the latest episode. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me chatting a little bit and I will see you guys in a bit. Bye. Hi guys, um, today is, I don't even, I honestly don't even know what today is, but I'm super, um, super bummed out because I tore my back out and it really, really hurts. I have to go get a massage. I'll probably go like later this week. And then my water faucet is like leaking so, so much. So I just took all my stuff out. So this is like my, what do you call that? Just like my caddy for like all my cleaning stuff and then just some Ziploc bags and stuff like that. But anyway, the water keeps like leaking every time I turn it on. You guys can see right there. And it looks like there's water intrusion in the wall and then it's coming out of here from the beast boys. So um, super ghetto, <laughs> but and I went to Marshall's with one of my girlfriends and I was switching out my bags and realized that I actually lost one of my diamond earrings that I got for Valentine's Day like last year which that means I haven't even had them for a year yet or you no, know, I've had them for a little over a year but I'm super super sad because that was like the one last thing I had from my ex and that I actually really loved um the necklace I did like but it just was too much of like a bad woman I feel like but I know like I, I don't care about like my ex like in that way anymore but it was just something that like i felt was like a momentum i guess like i don't know um i don't know it was just really sentimental to me and i lost one side of it so i'm honestly in like a really bad mood because of that and um i feel really bad because i actually went with my friend to marshall's and i wasn't really happy and stuff so i just apologized to her because my attitude really stunk um, and so um i did apologize to her she's she forgave me but um i just I, I'm just like really really sad about it and I literally thought that Kim Kardashian was like exaggerating but I can assure you she was not Ugh, like my like my heart actually hurts because of this and I, don't know. I just feel super sad about it and I'm never like I'm never gonna get that replaced like he's never gonna give me another pair of earrings like we're not together and he doesn't like he doesn't usually like buy jewelry for like the women that he's with or like the girls and stuff he's not that kind of person he he's not he's just not like that so i'm super super sad about it and i literally like want to cry right now because it's just like super sentimental but anyway i'll do a marshall's haul for you guys because i got a few things so just give me one second to get all my bags yeah my back hurts like so so much like i can't even explain the feeling right now um it's a little my apartment is messy just on this part but i did organize my closet as you guys saw yesterday but i'll just show you guys so i went to I went to BevMo after just because I was just really sad and I'm going to drink tonight because I'm so sad. But I got Whispering Angel. This is the rosé that my girlfriend and I usually drink most of the time. I don't know. I, I don't really... I'm, I used to not be like a huge, huge fan of rosé, but now I kind of like it like here and there. So I got that one and then I got um, a bottle of Vuv Rosé just because it looked good. And I just wanted to like treat myself because I was really sad. I just wanted like a, champ a rosé champagne. So I just got this one. I got some little hand towels or like washcloths. And um, I just needed some more because the ones that I have in the bathroom, they're like kind of faded. Oh, I should have got two packs of these. It's okay. Hopefully they'll have the same one. They never have the same one though. Marshall's never has the same thing that you need. But I thought that these were really cute. I love the color. And then I got this for Luna. I'm hoping that she takes to it. Luna. Luna. Luna, come here. Luna, look it. This is for you. She might be too big for it. Um, I kept the receipt just in case because I figured like she usually doesn't like sleeping on beds or anything. 
so I just wanted to get it. Luna, I'll leave it there for like two weeks and if she doesn't use it, then I'll return it, so. And then I got a multi-surface cleaner. Uh, this one is like all natural. It doesn't have like bleach or anything in it, but yeah, I just got it. So it's like a big bottle. And then does anyone know if those even work because they're so cheap and I'm just like, maybe I should have just gone to Target and get like a multi-surface cleaner, like a 409. I don't know. Um, and then I got some candles because I really love the scent and it says it neutralizes um, pet odor, which like Luna doesn't stink, but yeah, this one is the Ocean Mist one. That's the brand. And then I got another one from the same brand. This one is that scent. And it actually smells really good, amber vanilla. Yeah, I like the scent of it. And so I'm gonna burn this one in the bathroom probably. I just love the color of the containers. I love the, conta the color of the container. So I wanted to like reuse it for something else. Um, Cause I do have one for my orchid um, that I got recently. So, and then I got this blanket to put on the couch. This one is um, a Ralph Lauren and I love the green color because I want it to be like really earthy tones in my apartment and so I wanted it to be like really earthy tones in my apartment and I just wanted it to be like super cozy so I opted to get this um, to get this color because I also saw like a white one but white just doesn't go and then when I get my TV I feel like everything will look complete because it just looks empty right there and then this one I'm actually gonna get rid of this oh my god my flowers are so dusty they still smell so good I'm going to get rid of this bookcase thing and then I just got a mirror to go here and then I got a little ottoman which will arrive tomorrow I'm waiting for my packages to be delivered they should have been delivered today I think oh no it's tomorrow yeah let me check i got some stuff from amazon because like i i know like you guys have been wanting to see my place finished and trust me i do too but it's just like really hard <laughs> dude i'm so bummed about my my earring like nothing will i'm <sighs> my friend told me that i should just get the pendant and then make it into a necklace and then that way i can still like have a functioning like piece of diamond i guess i'll just do that and then get it on like a gold i don't know dude it really sucks like it really really sucks like the diamond was from a jeweler on Robertson, I believe, in um, Beverly Hills. And I remember my boyfriend, my ex, actually, he... I remember it was, like, really big for him because he's not, like, usually into diamonds or anything like that. Like, he really hates, like, all that stuff because he thinks it's super cheesy. I'm just, like, so, so sad. It just meant, like, a lot to me because, like, we were together for so long and it's just, like, the one thing that made me so happy every time I wore it. Like, I just felt, like, a million bucks, like with those diamond earrings i don't know hopefully it, i will be gifted new ones <laughs> i don't know it's just like people can't tell like the diamond clarity and stuff like that and like i really can like i'll look at people's rings online and be like oh that's a lab diamond or that's like a, a moist what is it the moissanite stone like i i can tell the difference like i have been able to look at a ring that like an influencer posts and i can tell what it is and then later they'll be like oh collaborating with this company for lab grown diamonds or something and i'm like i already know it like you can just tell like the clarity and like the way the diamond like i don't know how to explain it but like i have a rich eye <laughs> i'm not rich <laughs> nor can nor can i afford to be like that but it's just like like i really like looking at diamonds and like trying to decipher whether or not they are blood diamonds or lab diamonds but my diamond was definitely a blood diamond i have the gs certificate too for both of them because you get one for each if you have earrings like imagine me wearing a cubic zirconia one from amazon and then a diamond like my diamond one like stupid anyway i got this blanket i'm sorry you guys like my energy is so off today because of that like i'm trying to be positive i really am and i'm gonna probably edit and film a little bit i don't even know honestly i'm not even in the mood to do that but i have to like get back to work and focus on my channel but dude like that just it really sucks like if, if this has never happened to you like you guys will not be able to relate or like you don't even know how i feel like you don't get it you don't get it and a, like a diamond is just not the same as like a designer purse because i can go ahead and get my bag replaced like i can get my wallets replaced like i really don't care about that but diamonds are diamonds like it's like the only like like the most beautiful piece of jewelry that i've had like my entire life and he did that for me and i i just and i just wasn't careful with it i don't know my heart hurts i just need to allow myself to like be depressed about this for like two days <gasps> baby tuna you are so precious baby tuna baby luna oh you're so precious oh, you look so gorgeous <gasps> you look so gorgeous oh you look 
like such a happy kitty. She's like, I don't care. <laughs> she went to go look at the Frenchie next door. So yeah, anyway, that's just what I had to say. I'm like pretty bummed out, but what can I do? I, I really can't do anything. And I, I posted on the form for um, my building if they've seen it, like to let me know, but I'm pretty sure no one has seen it. And like, who's gonna return like a, who's gonna return a diamond? Like, I'm sure like one side was worth like 1500 or more. I mean, they don't resell for the same, I don't think. They'll still buy them, people will still buy them. Just like, but I mean, my friend told me like, I, I probably should just get it into a necklace, but it will be like a platinum or like a, a white gold. I don't think that I would do, I couldn't do like gold and then the prongs. Well, it's a diamond. I think it's, it's half a carat and then it's a halo. Oh no, not half a carat. It's 0.33 carat and it has a halo on it. So I couldn't get that redone into like a gold finish. But anyway, I'm gonna wash these. I'm gonna wash the little washcloths that I got. Um, I wanna see if I'm able to take to this. Is it inside? Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys later. I don't know what I'm gonna eat later. I don't really have, oh, I have salmon and I have broccoli. I should eat that. No carbs though. And then I'll probably go to the gym later today and I'll show you guys like what I end up. I'm just gonna do the treadmill on a high incline just to burn calories. I'm not really looking to like build anything, but. Hello. Hello, hi, this is Jenny. Hi. On this day, I actually started rearranging my purses in this new shelf that I got. I got it from Amazon and it is in a dark brown color, but it looks black. But I honestly don't mind because you can't even see it anyway because it's in the closet. And I actually would recommend getting two of these if you guys had more purses. But I think it's a really great shelf for your purses. And just for like, I don't know, maybe duffel bags, you can put just one all the way at the bottom if you want. And these are my Zumani organizers. I just got them in on this day. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what it looked like in my purse. This is the Saint Laurent Small Lulu, I believe. And I have it with the gold brush hardware and black leather. This is like a smooth leather. leather. <laughs> I also got some of the organizers for my multi pochette so I love that it has the D-rings now. You can actually order them with the zippers or with D-rings and you can also opt for pockets on the inside or on the outside or just none at all if you don't want any. And this one I did get one pocket in the big compartment because I just thought it was great to kind of put some papers on one side and then one on the other. And I got it in the pink shade because when I'm not wearing the green strap, I actually just don't wear any strap at all. And I think pink is a really feminine color and usually when I take it out, I have more kind of lighter outfits. So that's why I opted for the pink one. And then this is my Speedy V25. I already have a Zumani organizer in there. I just have the uh, red shade that they have on their site, which I love. It's one of my favorites and it's been holding up really well. And I've actually had this organizer since I got the bag, which was in 2018, which is, it's crazy to think about 2018 because that was like three years ago. That's, that's so insane, honestly. And then I'm just going ahead and organizing them. I ended up taking out my toiletries because I didn't think that I wanted them there. And they're just toiletries anyway, so I just have them on my desk. And then this is my Montserrat backpack. You guys know I love this backpack so much, but I honestly was thinking about selling it because I wasn't using it at all, but then my friends keep telling me to save it, so... I'm just waiting for the perfect moment to bring it. I don't know where I'm gonna bring it to, but I was thinking maybe the fair or something. This is a new organizer in my niece BB, and I really love this color a lot more. I actually had pink icing at first, but then pink icing was just a little bit too light, and it got really dirty because I wasn't being careful in the niece bb i was just throwing all my makeup everywhere i didn't care if it got dirty and it got super super dirty so i'm gonna try and see if i can machine wash it and then dry it and when you machine wash it you also want to do it on cold just so it doesn't get damaged here i have my bum bag i also have an organizer in my bum bag i think all of my bags actually have organizers from zumani aside from my nano speedy because that one is just too small I, i've seen people get it for their nano speedy but Honestly, I just feel like the bag is so tiny that if I did that, then I would just have no room at all. And then I thought about organizing them, but then I forgot that I had my Prada bag and then another strap. So that's the pink strap for the multi pochette. People asked me if I got like a bootlegged one and no, I didn't. It's like a legit one, but I just never did an unboxing on it. But I got it from one of my CAs on Instagram, I believe. It was so long ago. And then I did the TikTok hack where you clean your washer with two dishwasher pods and it wasn't that dirty honestly because I did this not too long ago. Hi guys, good morning. I'm going to film today. Oh my god, you can see 
how white my face is. I'm always using sunblock. I'm always keeping my face out of the sun. You guys, I need to stay as young as possible. As young as possible. But anyway, I'm going to take my vitamins right now. I already took the ones on um, my probiotics and stuff that were in the bathroom because, um, I don't know, I'm just like, I do that while I'm doing my skincare. But, oh, where's my vitamin C? Um, I'm actually filming today, so I'm going to use this one. This is for de-bloating, de-puffing the face. And I still have those. I ordered more online. There's a website that you can get these from, so I'll have them linked down below in case you guys are interested. I need room temperature water for this. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some dishes away. Um, these are just Luna's treats. They just came in yesterday. So I usually have a re-delivery like every, I believe it's every six months um, for her stuff because I think I ordered it in February. So she gets three of these, three of the chickens, and then four of the salmon ones. And all of that I think is $200 with her, with like the re-delivery. So this is on Fat Coat, by the way. And then uh, she also gets her kidney, her new kidney medicine, and that one's from the vet directly. And then I think you can buy them online, but I haven't been able to find them. So let me know if you guys see them. They're these ones, but I don't know if like you can get them if you're not at the vet because um, it says veterinary exclusive prescription diet so i don't know i like tried giving this to her a few times and she kind of just doesn't want it but um sometimes she will eat it just depending on how she feels okay, so i ran out of my vanilla vanilla syrup so i'm just gonna go ahead and use raw sugar like i usually do i think this is arpeggio and it doesn't seem to film. But I'm gonna need a double shot today because I have a lot of filming to do. Also, if you guys know where to find the barista edition for this one, let me know because I just cannot seem to find it anywhere. I feel like they're always sold out of it. This usually just sits there until it's done fully um, dissolving. So this is just the collagen pop from Hum. Hi guys, so I just got home. I went with one of my girlfriends to, well, we went to Starbucks first because that's like what we do to bond, <laughs> just like a Starbucks friend. And then after that, we ended up going to the bank and then, cause we had to deposit some money. And after that, she wanted to get her eyebrows done. And one of my other girlfriends actually goes to the Benefit uh, Brow Bar. So I recommended her to go there. So we went there and then they had like Chanel and Estee Lauder and a bunch of stuff there. So I just got a few things from Chanel. And so I just wanted to show you guys what I ended up getting because I didn't get too much um i just got things that i've been wanting for a while so i thought i would just go ahead and grab it um but let me just put you guys here really quickly anyway i did tell you guys that this bookshelf or i don't know ladder situation that we got going on that one is going to be gone for a while um well not for a while but i think i'm just gonna completely get rid of it and then also i have like no jewelry on because i was getting ready to film and then she asked me to go with her 
and then i got this little puff which i actually really love but it doesn't really match my rug so i'm thinking like maybe to put this rug in my room and then um i kind of want to get a different rug for this area since like i really want this out of it's like a I don't know, like a knack sack thing like not an knack sack but like i don't know it's supposed to be like an ottoman thing but i got more stuffing for it so i have to go downstairs to get that from the mail room so yeah i did end up getting this i just have a cover right now like a blanket over my couch because of luna and i wanted a green couch like this color for the longest time so i found this uh, blanket that i showed you guys earlier and at marshall's so i really love that but anyway it smells so good but i will show you guys what i got because all of these things like i actually really really love when i was in stores and i wanted to get their color correcting concealer but i just felt like i should use the one that i have from lancome first and then use once i'm all out of that then i'll go get the chanel one it smells so good but anyway um, my total came out to 150 more or less and so she gave me a bunch of samples so she just gave me like an exfoliator a cream and then also a serum yeah so she so she just gave me a bunch she was super super sweet and honestly probably the nicest chanel salesperson that i've had for like makeup wise because usually when i go to the galleria or no to the americana like they don't talk to me at all like they don't say anything so she was really really sweet um okay so i just got three things so this is the rouge allure ink and that's what it looks like oh my god are we on autofocus now Okay, so that's what it looks like and then um, Okay, so it comes like this and she said it's kind of like a velvety so mm, I like that color It's like not too pinky But also not super nude and she said the formula is kind of like a soft velvety formula So I really like that a lot. Um, super cute. I prefer something a little bit more glossy, but I just love like look at how cute that is but I think that's like a really good like everyday kind of shade and then I also got the Le Beige stick This one is wait, I'm missing one. I think she didn't think that I wanted both of them, but no, I wanted both of them Oh I, I also wanted another um It was like a like a lip cream. It wasn't a lip cream It was kind of like a chapstick, but it had a little bit of color to it. I wanted that one too No wonder I was like, well, that's kind of like inexpensive. Yeah, she only rang me up for three things It's fine um, and then I also got this blush stick. So this one I actually really really wanted because I love blush and this is the color that my skin goes to when oh, yeah, so um This is kind of the color that my skin goes to when I get when I get hot. I don't know. I couldn't say that um, so it's it gets very pinky and really like flushed so That's how I wanted this one because I thought it was really a nice color Okay, but yeah, that's what the color looks like and it looks like kind of I don't know It's different like on my on my skin, but it doesn't look like that on the face And then last but not least I got the hand cream I got the rich version because this one I feel like you can use less and then um, it'll last longer and um, I don't know. I just I just love hand creams and I use them all the time Dude, I actually like don't even know how to open this right now. Oh my god. Is that from my hand? Am I stupid? Okay, so yeah, I just got it super cute. I really like the thick formula and I can't wait to use this I think i'm gonna put it in my bag like upside down because it'll just be better. But yeah Um, i'm gonna start filming now. So I will see you guys in a bit. Bye I just got home. I'll show you guys what I got. I think I already did. See we I got this vitamin C. I think I already showed you guys that. And then mushrooms. Um, I got this sauce. I think this is like a mala sauce. I feel like I'm missing like... Yeah, they usually put chicken in it or shrimp. Oh, I have shrimp, so I'll probably make that tomorrow. Soybeans. I need to do like an H Mart snack haul again because I haven't done one in a while and I know that you guys have been wanting one So I'm gonna try to film one or go to H Mart and get some snacks like maybe next time I go But this is like definitely one of my favorites. I found a big pack of kiwis 
which I love. And then a squash. And then my total came out to, um, I think, 50, like 59 with all of this. But I always have to get my vitamin C. That was only like four bucks though. Oh, I think I took it today, but yeah, that's everything.